everyone, uh, Brent Diamond here. Uh, I am the tech for Steve Harris. Uh, we're gonna do a quick rundown on what Steve plays. Um, he plays his, his Fender P bass, of course, uh, with his signature pickup in it. Um, he's been playing the same, same bass since he purchased it in the mid 70s. Um, so from the bass, we go to an Accent or Sure Accent wireless pack, which then comes over to our receivers, of course. So. Then we go into, uh, we have a switch here that picks which, at which packet is active. Uh, and then that comes down into, we have a switcher here that, that kind of routes between my A and my B rig if I have a problem. So it then goes from here up to a uh, FX, or APEX, a -E uh, audio exciter. Uh, then it goes into the Electron preamp. Uh, now this Electron preamp is a custom built item uh, Steve had built in 1981 or so. Uh, we got two of them, we got a man and a spare. And then it comes back into our little, our little like central brain here, the switch that we, we come back into a DBX160 compressor here, which really we don't even use for compression. We just use it as an inline volume control. So uh, it then comes back into here and then it comes over to our CR audio uh, SR707 amplifiers. We get one amplifier per stack. We run two stacks, one per uh, each side of, of the drums. And th then from there, we go over to Steve's cabinets, they're Marshall cabinets uh, with the EV speakers that he's been using for 40 plus years. And that is pretty much the gist of the tone that he hears on stage. Now, there are a couple jump off points for that. From this switch, we also jump off, that it has a DI option, so that goes to front of house. Um, and then we also split off to his Tech 21 piece down here, which actually pretty much gets a lot of the tone that you could get with, with his original pieces. Uh, and we use this as a direct line also to go to audio. Uh, and it's, it's a nice uh, isolated direct out that uh, comes in quite handy. So from there, um, I have a kind of a, an emergency rig. I've got a couple of Galen Kruger MV800s down here. Uh, then they actually jump off of the Tech 21 line. So they have that preamp going into this amp section. So if I have a problem with the whole mess, then that's, that's where we go. And I believe that covers the electric system. So we also use a Fender Kingman acoustic, also on the Shure uh, Accent Wireless. Uh, and then it, it uh, routes through the system and basically it goes DI to the house at that point. Uh, it does also go through a rig, but that's just for Steve to hear on stage. But in, in the house, it's primarily uh, the DI that we use. Yeah, and another thing, the, the signal path jumps over to here, uh, so Steve can tune before the show uh, and the, the uh, encore break. He likes to tune it himself just to be you know, absolutely 100% sure he's where he thinks he is. Now, Steve has been using this Korg WT-12 tuner for about 30 years. Uh, it's his favorite, it's great, but occasionally it does act up, so we make sure we have uh, extra tuners in place. We've got the, the Korg OT-120 and the Korg DTR-2000 as, as backup tuners, just to make sure uh, make sure everything lines up and we know we're good. So in addition to teching for Steve, I also play keyboard behind the curtain for the band. Uh, and I use a, uh, a Korg Kronos, it's a first generation. We're thinking about moving to the Nautilus, we haven't made that jump yet, but we're use still using this, we've been using it for a long time. So I play on 10 of the songs with the group. The songs that I play on uh, is the first song, Caught Somewhere in Time, then I play on Stranger in a Strange Land, Days of Future Past, Time Machine, Death of the Celts, Can I Play with Madness, Heaven Can Wait, Alexander the Great, Fear of the Dark, and then my last song of the night is Hell on Earth. So I'm a, pretty busy back here with keyboards, so, but uh, I still manage to keep an eye on, on, uh, on Steve while he's playing as well. So that's Steve's rundown.